Opening night was a success for Georgia Gwinnett College. It was a green out that turned dark, but the glory goes to the Grizzlies on a bright, bright night here in Lawrenceville under the lights. And we're joined now by our Grizzly of the Day. In her debut in her Grizzly uniform, Victoria Bischoff, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm after a happy. after a very happy after a performance like that, describe the atmosphere tonight with the students and the and the energy and the excitement. Were you a little nervous before the game? Yes, I was nervous um, because it's my first game here. But we had a lot of support from our teams, from baseball, soccer, softball. It was amazing to for have you, this support. For you and the Grizzlies, uh, played well in the first half, but didn't get any results out of it. 0-0 was their score at halftime, and then you get the only goal of the contest in the 77th minute. What were some of the things Coach talked about at halftime? He talked about that we have to, on the outside back, more go to the 1-1-1 one, one and not 2-2 two, two because we had the better chance and we have to... Um, try and to score. We saw that goal right there. What did you see in that play? Because it looked like Stina got it, and it may have went across the line. It rattled around and came back out to you. Yeah. What was going through your mind? I thought we have to do to score one goal, and I just shut. <laughs> and it did off your foot. It goes in the back of the net. Uh, for you from Switzerland, coming here to America to play college soccer, what's been some of the biggest challenges for you? Um, I think first of all the language, because <laughs> sure <laughs> on the field and off the. On the, on the field and off the field um, to understand the teammates, but I try my best. And uh, the other thing is that um, just improve myself uh, because I can always improve, and that's my goal. <laughs> well, the language we can all understand is our tail of the tape there. The Grizzlies win the one to nothing. They dominated this contest in shots, corner kicks, really put it to Tennessee Wesleyan, the 15th ranked team in the country. And uh, Victoria, if you don't mind, I'd like to share your recruiting story that, that Coach Giuliano missed his flight. Coming back from uh, recruiting you last year, we still be, it was this Tennessee Wesleyan team last year that was the game that he missed. And how ironic <laughs> that we come back here to 2018 and the athlete that he recruited scores the game-winning goal against Tennessee Wesleyan in 2018. I'm very happy. <laughs> we are too here as well as Victoria. With that happiness and the glory comes some shout-outs. I don't know if you're new to this, but uh, we were following on social media all night long. You had some folks watching back home in Switzerland. Do you have some shout-outs? Who would you like to thank? Yes, I want to thank my family, my dad, my mom, my sister, all the support they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I just want to say thank you. Well, thank you to all the folks and uh, uh, Victoria's mom and dad for uh, letting us borrow her for soccer season. It's certainly thank a pleasure you. to watch you play, and we're certainly thank glad you. that you're here. Thank you so much. So that'll do it here from Lawrenceville, Georgia, as GGC takes the home opener to start the 2018 season with a top 25 victory over Tennessee Wesleyan by a score of one to nothing.